Hey animal enthusiasts and pet hobbyists, it's Joel here again, and today I thought I'd do a video of me drawing Stripe. So, let's get into it. Alright, so the mediums I'm going to be using for this drawing is one Strathmore 6x8 colored pencil paper. Next, I'm going to be using a 4H sketching pencil. This is just going to be used for the outlines and the beginning of the drawing. Black Prismacolor colored pencil, white colored pencil, orange, Spanish orange, sunburst yellow, crimson red, and a colorless blender. Then I have a 2.3 millimeter eraser, a regular eraser, and lastly, some Jelly Roll white pens. Okay, so as a right-handed person, I like to draw from left to right so I don't end up smearing the graphite. When it comes to colored pencils, I generally like to start with the background because, well, that's just me personally, but you can do it however you'd like. The reason I am drawing so light is because these are just the general shapes that I'm going to be going over in colored pencil, and I don't want the pencil marks to be visible at that point, so yeah, there's a reason why you can't really see what I'm drawing. Right now, I've just decided where I wanted to put my clownfish. I typically like to put the main focus of the artwork in the center so that it could have more emphasis, but per usual, you could do it wherever you'd like. Right now, I'm just adding some more details in the clownfish as outlines. To fill up more space in the background, I'm just adding some more corals. These corals I actually don't have in my tank, but I wish I did, they're just too expensive. But yeah. Okay, so when it comes to adding color, I like to start off with a first layer of what the object is. Then I use different versions of that same color to add more layers and blend them together to get rid of those nasty pencil strokes. If I still see some pencil strokes, I usually start using my colorless blender pencil. I put the most pressure in areas with darker values and I use white to blend and make lighter areas, well, more light. This plant that I'm drawing is actually a species of macroalgae known as Colerpa prolifera for anybody who's wondering. Now that I'm done with the macroalgae, I'm starting on the purple gargonian. I actually don't know what species this is, but I thought it looked really nice, so I'm adding it. To make it appear as though there are polyps, I'm adding tiny ridges or spikes along the stems, and I think that gives it a cool effect. Okay, now I'm on the Xenia. What I've done is I've added a base layer of pink, then go over it with a light layer of purple, and use white to mix them together and get that iconic Xenia look that we all know. Later, I'm going to be using a white ball pen so that I could add the tiny pinules on the ends of the tentacles. Here's just a closer look at what it looks like. Here's another type of coral that I thought looked really nice. I'm not sure of the species, but I'm pretty sure it was a SPS. These are just some orange and green zoanthids that I found and I thought looked really nice and I wish I had in my tank. This coral that I'm working on is actually known as a finger leather coral and it has a similar color palette to Xenia except I'm adding a touch more orange 
But yeah, I'm basically just using the same techniques with adding different colors and blending them together. This coral is a green and brown trumpet coral. And these are just some yellow polyps. Alright, I'm finally drawing Stripe. As you can tell from the reference photo, Stripe is a very yellowish clownfish, so I'm going to be going over her in yellow first. I like to go from lighter to darker colors, so I'm going to be going from yellow to yellowish orange to eventually a darker shade of orange. I do this because I find it easier to blend them all together. Once you've added the colors you want, you can start doing the smaller details. Here I'm adding black to the fins and to the stripe. As you can tell, the eye is pretty much just a black dot surrounded in an orangish grayish color, so you don't really have to pay too much attention to detail. For the background, I'm going to have a darker bottom, and it's going to be progressively going up and getting lighter, then at the top again, it'll be black. I tend to do bluish colors for underwater pieces, but I try not to focus on that part in this piece trying to put more emphasis on the clownfish. So yeah, you could, again, do your background however you'd like. So with the jelly roll pens, here I'm just adding dots to make it look like there are more polyps. And on the Xenia, I'm adding pineals, and this will help it look more detailed and slightly more realistic. So once you're done with all the details, you're pretty much done. Here's just a close-up of it. And here it is next to Stripe. As you can see, the background is pretty much the same. Alright guys, so if you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe for more videos of Stripe. And I'll see you in the next video.